The world is a vast and complex place, teeming with life in its many forms. Among the countless creatures that share our planet, some stand out not just for their uniqueness, but also for the intriguing dangers they pose. One such creature is the human botfly Dermatobia harmonis. This unassuming insect, despite its small size and seemingly harmless appearance, harbors a set of characteristics and behaviors that make it a fascinating subject of study. In this video, we will delve into the intricacies of the human botfly, unraveling the mystery of its dangers, the conditions it imposes on its human hosts, and the measures taken to mitigate these risks. The human botfly is a creature of paradoxes. It is small, measuring only about 1 to 1.5 centimeters in length, with a rather unremarkable appearance. It's bristly, brownish-gray body and wings might lead one to underestimate its capabilities. Yet, beneath this unassuming exterior lies a life cycle and set of behaviors that are both captivating and unsettling. What sets the human botfly apart from many other insects is its remarkable life cycle. And like most insects that lay their eggs directly on their host or in the surrounding environment, the botfly employs a rather cunning strategy. It relies on other insects to carry and deliver its eggs to their ultimate destination, a human host. The botfly begins its life cycle as an adult, which seeks out a suitable vector, often a mosquito or tick. These insects become unwitting accomplices in the botfly's life cycle. The female botfly attaches her eggs to the carrier insect, using a special adhesive. When this carrier insect lands on a human and takes a blood meal, the warmth and moisture of the human body trigger the hatching of botfly larvae. As the botfly larvae emerge, they find themselves on the surface of the human host's skin. The first signs of their presence may go unnoticed, as they create a small, painless lump. Herein lies one of the peculiar aspects of botfly infestations. The initial entry often occurs without any immediate discomfort or pain. But the intrigue doesn't end there. The botfly larvae, now comfortably ensconced beneath the host's skin, begin their remarkable journey. They burrow into the subcutaneous tissue, creating a tunnel-like structure. During this process, they breathe through a small opening at the skin surface, drawing air in and expelling waste. The human botfly's presence beneath the skin typically does not evoke immediate pain or discomfort. This stealthy approach to infestation allows the larvae to remain undetected for some time, often weeks or even months. The host may experience minimal symptoms if any, during this period. However, as the botfly larvae grow, their activity within the host's tissues can lead to pain, swelling, and inflammation. The host becomes increasingly aware of their presence, and the discomfort intensifies. It is during this phase that many individuals seek medical attention, often baffled by the mysterious ailment. The condition caused by botfly infestation is known as funculomyosis. It presents as painful, raised skin lesions or boils, which can become infected if left untreated. While botfly infestations rarely lead to life-threatening situations, the associated discomfort and risk of infection make prompt medical attention necessary. Treatment for botfly infestation revolves around a crucial step, the extraction of the botfly larvae. This can typically be done through surgical procedures or, interestingly, by using petroleum jelly to suffocate the larvae. The latter method encourages the larvae to emerge from their burrows, often easing the host's discomfort and facilitating their removal. Understanding where the human botfly thrives is another piece of the puzzle when assessing its dangers. This creature predominantly inhabits tropical and subtropical regions of Central and South America, where the climate is conducive to its unique life cycle.
What makes the human bot fly even more intriguing is its reliance on specific insect intermediaries and hosts to complete its life cycle. The bot fly's strategy is akin to an intricate web, where each component plays a crucial role. Mosquitoes or ticks serve as the intermediaries. Transporting the botfly eggs to their final destination, the human host. Mitigating the risks associated with botfly infestation involves preventive measures and raising awareness among those who travel to regions where the insect is prevalent. Protective clothing, insect repellents, and avoiding areas with high insect activity are some of the precautions travelers can take to reduce their risk of becoming unwitting hosts. While the human botfly poses unique challenges, it also serves as a reminder of the intricacies of the natural world. Its presence, though unsettling, adds depth to our fascination with the wonders and mysteries of the animal kingdom. Thanks for watching.